What is going on? Ronnie here, and I'm back with another video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at it in Scarlet Nexus Part 5. Ooh, last episode, we got cut off by our mom because uh, apparently we let our sister die, which we all know that's not technically the case. We followed our instincts to look around the corner and realize that one of the two governing factions in our town is actually planning a rebellion. It's pretty major stuff. We gather a small platoon to go check it out, and wouldn't you know, they were planning a rebellion. We got beat down. Kinda, sorta. And then we got to witness two brothers stand off against each other, Yuito and his little brother, Nagi. With all that being said and done, we decided to go in hot pursuit of Yuito, which is uh, where we're gonna pick up right now. This is how fresh this episode is. Like, I literally... And right off the last episode. So strike pose and that like button. Let me know what part of this playthrough you're enjoying so far. And we're gonna pick right right on up with a movie. That's a nice looking scene, alright. For real, for real. Screenshot. <laughs> what is that? Whoa. Alright, I'll start with the screenshots. What's going on here? I don't know. Alright, one more, it. and I'm good. Yuito. You yeet. Major I can't Chaka. say this dude's name to save my life. Hey! Kasane, what happened? First, we were attacked by Major General Karin. And then we were attacked by other OSF. Then there was a big earthquake. Mm. But it's strange. How did an earthquake make something like that? Sorry for the notifications, guys. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. But it looks like there's a gravitational anomaly around that thing. Mm. Damn. That must be why my head hurts yeah, so much. Gravitational anomaly. I felt a pain too. It wasn't like a normal headache. It was something different. So, none of you saw that? Then what could that have been? Maybe it was just that dream again. What are you talking about? I sometimes have these strange right dreams. Now. They're about these threads called red strings. I had one just now, but this time Yuito was there. No. Yuito may have been a dream as well. Why would we have the same dream as you? Maybe it's because the dream about the strings was more detailed than normal. And that's why you thought it was real and not a dream. Yes, but it couldn't have been. I'm not so sure. Maybe your dreams with Yuito aren't dreams and are actually experiences the two of you oh. have. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry, Kasane, but right now we have more important things to more worry important. about. Yeah, right. This seems pretty, uh, First off, if we stay important. here, there's a high possibility we'll get sucked into that thing. I also wonder about Suo. If Karin is serious, then it's safe to bet that something's probably going on there. I, watch this I don't movie. see Luca or Yuito either. They probably went back there as well. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Let's hurry back to Suo. Bro, I just ruined this whole movie. I'm sorry, guys. Don't worry. The rest is gonna be a nifty playthrough. Just you watch. Yes, buddy. Yes, sir. What? What is this? Is this Suo? The direction, the distance we traveled, and the buildings all tell me we're at Suo. Our habaki most likely isn't working, so the city functions must be down too. It makes sense that we can't reach Haruka. I hope she's all right. Hmm. This is one of our research centers. It's half destroyed. You mean a Spring Pharmaceuticals Research Center? Yep. And there's our logo. But I don't think we had a research center in Suo. Is this really Suo? Something's not right. Oh, this terminal is still running. I'll check it out. What's that? There's something scattered on the ground over there. 
These are... ampules. They look just like the ones I saw in the abandoned subway. Uh-oh. Major General Karin? Fabuki? Fabuki? So... old. No. Why is, is he dead? carrying a whole body like that? Major General Karin, is this the rebellion you talked about? You say you want to change the new Himuka regime. But look, you've gone and destroyed yeah, the city. Yeah, that's not that's a change for the worse. Karin, is Fabuki dead because of your rebellion? I'm sorry, guys. That <laughs> Karin, answer me. Your brother's body. Here. Are you it. serious? <laughs> Kasane. So you're finally This dude here. is obsessed with me, bro. What? Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back what? to normal. Cure the metamorphosis? What do you mean? Can Naomi be saved? Save Naomi? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, you're running your mouth. It can't be done here. This planet, no, oh, this whole dimension is at its end. It will be consumed by the Kunad Gate. If this dude don't stop putting his hands on me, bro, we're gonna have big problems. Finally. I can finally save her. What? My happened? outfit is so raw, though. <laughs> that was Major General Karin's power. Skill class SS. What? He can copy any power and make it his wow. own. Wow. Fubuki, I'm sorry. I want to give you a proper burial, but there's something I have to take care of first. He just killed her brother? Or her brother died or something? I don't know. We're following him, He right? was carrying a body. Karin just used hypervelocity. He copied it from me on orders from High Command. Ha! I'm going to follow his trail. We can still catch him if we act now. It's not like you to be so dedicated. I won't let him go until he tells me why Fubuki had to die. <laughs> Let's go. I have so much I want to ask him. Yeah, me too. Let's hurry after Karin. This trail won't last long. I want to ask him. <clears throat> Whoa. I want to ask him why there are so many characters in this game. Your power is psychokinesis, right, Kasane? Oh my god. Yes, it is. I just can't figure out why he ate Kasane's power. Any messages? No? Okay. All right, we got it. What I do kind of like about this game is there's not a whole crazy amount of upgrading you have to do. Ooh, new products, finally. Nothing I want, though. Innocent rabbit hug, what is that? Anyways, there's not a whole, whole lot of extra stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? No? Okay, I didn't think that was a good explanation either. What I mean is, I go in, I check a few things, I'm back out of the menu in seconds. There's not a whole lot of crazy weapons to buy or anything like that who's in my party right now oh i got electrokinesis yeah i feel like i'm gonna always need this chick bye Ooh. part of the reason i couldn't even hit this guy is that i just simply could not lock on bro bro this battle's whack bye Useless. Wait, there's more? Uh-oh. Bye. Ooh -hoo -hoo. It's over. Boy, just wrecked him, and I leveled up. Gotta hit the brain map. Sorry, guys. Five. Oh my god, bro. This camera be tripping. Got him. Got him. I'm getting way faster at that, too. Is there more? No, there's not. All right. This combat get heated sometimes. I still, still feel like at times, at times, combat yet. can still be a little bit too over complex. Like sometimes I just literally forget what I'm supposed to be doing because there's so many different types of things that I can do in one battle. It's like mind boggling, bro. I, I swear on everything. It's pretty crazy. So where am I? Is this? The city? Hey, wait, someone's there. Hmm? Oh! 
Who is that? Is that Oni Musha? <laughs> that is Oni Musha. Cameo. This dude looked dead already. Psionics. They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. Psionics. Come on, boy. What's up with all these level 50 cats I got? I can't beat this guy. At least I got friends this time. I just heal right in this dude's face. Me your power. Nope, slow down. Sorry, buddy. That should do it. This game has the most unbeatable battles. You know how like every good RPG... Come on, get off me, son. Anyways, so every RPG has a battle or two with somebody that's way stronger than you, right? But this game has way too many. At what point was I supposed to grind to level? Like, I made it to level 30, and I thought I was quite impressive. <laughs> and then they're hitting me with all these level 50 people. Like, how? How? How, bro? What am I missing? To where these battles are actually supposed to be winnable. Beat you up, yes! I knew it. I can't beat this guy, but I gotta I gotta try. What was that? Wait, who are you? Are you Huito? Huito? Huh? What? Impossible. That voice. Are you Kasane Randall? What? Yuito Sumaragi? This old man? Wait, I know that sarcastic voice. Shiden Ritter? I see. You jumped from the time of the Suo incident to this time. Hmm. I think I understand what's going on. Although I can hardly believe it myself. Yuito Sumaragi. Seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? Whoa! No. I'm about to say. I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year 2020, but that's not the case, correct? What? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This oh, is Suo in 2070. Snap. We're in the future! That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? Oh my Arashi. god, bro. The end has begun. What do you mean? How does this happen to Suo in 50 years? <laughs> I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. That's I, crazy. Yuito Sumeragi led the world to destruction. What? What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo-black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasane, your power isn't psychokinesis. Here we go. It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. Gravikinesis. Gravi... I can't with the terminology here. The red stream. I can't. So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? What? Everyone is gone. Uh, so, the time has come. I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time, like they did just now. How do you know all this? Who told you? Arahabaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here, but we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. Mm. That does not sound safe, sir. Not in these conditions. I don't even know what to make of this. 
That's it. That's what happens when you play these science fiction games, guys. The plot just starts off here, and then whew, gone, gone, out of here, gone. Oh, Sal, I'm solo. Where's all my friendos? Bye. Oh, I don't have time for this. Ah, look at that self-healing ability. Delicious. That's crazy. Look at this whole universe. I didn't even know I was in my city. This is crazy. I didn't even recognize I know it. you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past. What? But I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiron Rebellion, Nuhimuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. Mm. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only Kaito. way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. Oh. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there, but all the evidence pointed to mm. you. It's not a good look. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. Truth is that you jumped into the future. Oh. I wouldn't kill your father. Right. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. The Kunat Gate. The pseudo black hole that you and I made. Mm. Our powers are the same. <laughs> the same type of gravikinesis. Oh. So, it seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. Mm. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, Every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no How way often to did you it? use it? Only if I die. Well, time to go. If I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. What? I struggled to I find mean, a not way like to that. live. And now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do wow. die. Wow. That's what it's looking like, bro. It's sad to see him that's all beat up like this. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. No can do. <laughs> I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. No, I could never. Naomi oh cares my about God, you too bro. much. Besides, how am I supposed they to get back to the past? They barely even talking. Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away though. Huh? Others? What? I can't believe you do this. Gosh. I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? 
This isn't funny. Help me fight this other. <laughs> I think I understand why you killed my father. What? Now. What? New Himuka was researching how to change people into others. Uh -huh. It was New Himuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> yeah, I saw that. How come she didn't see that? My father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. Why would they do that though? You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers to find a way other than my own death that would close the oh. gate. Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage, a false hero who killed the world. So. Hmm? Whoa! What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? I'm so confused. Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. What? Did he just kill himself? <gasps> oh my god! That animated blood hit too hard. This dude just... Oh. Oh, she about to snap snap. Uh oh. Okay, so basically, all I can really think is that the Scarlet Nexus is the ability to travel time, right? Yeah? Okay. So we're all on the same page. So this is all about time travel to fix a grave mistake, save the world before it's too late. Suo, I think this is real, but is it? Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Mm. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Telepathic communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. Yay! I like the hideout. Whoa. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh, so you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo-black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So, you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings, are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. Mm. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. That's very real fear. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. 
And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic. <laughs> this guy. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? Right. I don't know. It's not an easy decision Girl, you to make. better lop his head off and keep moving. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. He apologized? Okay, big man. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi. Mm. But it's great that you think hard work is so noble. I like noble. lazy chicks. <laughs> How rude. I just hate wasting time, and I spare no effort to avoid it. Lazy chicks are awesome, So there's bro. no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All yeah, right. cool beans. And just like that, we just finished the next chapter. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. Everybody gonna keep talking for a minute. I didn't want to see. What's going on on TV? Previously mentioned the independent deployment of national defenses. The issue may go even further. Nah, we ain't watching TV. They ain't talking about nothing. Who watches the news? Where the cartoons at? How come these text messages have uh? How come they have uh titles and stuff? Okay, so anyways, looks like we made it to the end of chapter four. This is a short one, even though that was just like a 22-minute cutscene. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I don't even know what we learned in this. Well, we learned a whole lot, too much to talk about, but I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, don't forget to strike a post and a like button. Subscribe now to join the AO fam. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.